Oil pastels. There are four techniques that we will use. Blending, layering in sgraffito, feathering, and broken color. For blending, you want colors that contrast each other. Start with a light color. Use strong pressure to completely cover the white of the paper. And now I'm going to cross the two colors together. And when the colors cross, they will combine or blend together to create a new color. So you can see there is red, yellow, and where they have been blended, it's more of a red-orange color. The second technique is called layering and sgraffito. Again, you want to use two colors that contrast. Start with a light color, use strong pressure, and completely cover the white of the paper, and then use a darker color, and we're going to put it over the top. The colors will blend, but mostly we're trying to cover the lighter color that is under this second violet color. That's the layering part. Next is sgraffito. Sgraffito is when you scratch through that top darker color to reveal the lighter color that is underneath. The third technique is feathering. When feathering, it's good to use warm colors together or cool colors. And you're going to make strokes. And we don't want to completely cover the white of the paper at first. Continue to make those long movements with the pastel until you have mostly or completely covered the white of the paper. It's okay to switch back to the color that you started with or a color that you've used before. The length of the strokes can change. They could be shorter as well. Or you could even change the angle of the strokes. The final technique is called broken color. With broken color, it's good to use cool colors together or warm colors. You're going to use short, fat marks or strokes like this, switch colors, and now I'm going to focus on the spaces that haven't been covered yet with pastel. This will create a very textured effect. Again, the goal is to cover all the white spaces on your paper. Broken color creates rich texture and you just have to keep adding more and more marks until you've covered all the white space on your paper. Maybe a bit more green. There's still too much white showing, so I'll have to finish this up later. When working with pastels and we're done for the day, it's very important that we reorganize the colors. And we want to keep the warm colors together in the set and the cool colors together in the set. That way the next class will find their materials neatly organized for them. Thanks.